Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on Royal Governor with the help of diagram. Royal Governor has fly balls fixed to the extension of the links. In this video, we are going to use simple basic formula instead of using complicated formulas. Now first, I will read what is the given problem. A Royal Governor has equal arms of length 300 mm. The upper and lower ends of the arm are pivoted on the axis of governor. The extension arms of the lower links are each 80 mm long and parallel to the axis when the radius of rotation of the balls are 150 mm and 200 mm. The mass of each ball is 10 kg and mass of central load is 100 kg. Determine range of speed of the governor. So this was the given question. Let us first understand how to draw the diagram as per given data. Now here in the question it is given that the length of arms is equal to 300 mm. So we can say that all the arms are of equal length. Then the end point of the arm and link lie on the spindle axis. So we have to first draw here one vertical line in the form of dash and dot. And this is the axis of rotation and it is also known as the spindle axis. Now the end point of the arm. So here is the point P and end point of the link. Here is the point D. Both points lie on the same vertical line that is on the spindle axis. And the length of arm which is equal to length of link and which is equal to 300 millimeter. So if we know that if the length of the arm and link are equal and the end point of the arm and link lie on the same vertical line then in this case tan alpha is equal to tan beta. So we can say that in this for this given data tan alpha is equal to tan beta. Now this is the case of royal governor and that's why we have to extend this link. Now here FD is the, this is the link and we have to extend this link and this is the arm BF. So this length of the arm BF is also given that is equal to 80 millimeter. So B is the center of the flyball. Now if we observe because of this mass, m that is small m for this fly ball there is the weight and which will act in the vertically downward direction through the center of the fly ball so we have to show here there is a weight w then there is the centrifugal force because these fly balls are rotating about this vertical spindle axis and that's why we have to show the centrifugal force that will act in the radially outward direction through the center of this fly ball. So here is the centrifugal force. Then there is the central weight W also. Now we are going to consider only half portion of the governor. That's why here we have to take the weight W by 2 because we are going to consider only half portion of this governor. So total weight is W. So we have to consider W by 2 weight and which will act in downward direction through this uh, spindle axis. So in this way this diagram is getting completed. Now again if we observe it is given that these fly balls or these arms of the fly ball remain parallel to the spindle axis when this R1 is equal to 150 mm and R2 is equal to 200 mm. So we have to consider first this R1. So when this R1 that is the distance in between this point F. So this point F is the end point of the link. Then we have to draw one horizontal line and the point of intersection with this vertical spindle axis will give us the point G. So this distance FG is nothing but the distance R. So we will take here R as a R1 that is equal to 150 mm. So when R is equal to R1 that means we can say that the governor is rotating with minimum speed N1. So for minimum speed N1 we have to take R is equal to R1. Then in this case we have to find out what is the distance H1 that is the distance from this pivoted point P to up to this 
point G. So what is the distance PG? Now if we observe this is the triangle PFG. So in this triangle we can say that H1 is equal to. So this is the one side of the triangle. H1 is equal to under root of PF square minus FG square. So PF that is 300 because it is given. And what is FG? That is R1 is 150. So 300 square minus 150 square. So both the uh, both these lengths are in unit of millimeter. So our answer will also be, will be in millimeter that is 260 millimeter. Now we have to make here one construction. Now how to make this construction? We have to first take the instantaneous center. So for that we will extend this arm PF. So I will extend this arm PF in this way in a straight line. And then from this point D, I have to draw one perpendicular line with this spindle axis. So spindle axis is vertical line. So I have to draw here one horizontal line. Passing through the point D. So this point of intersection is nothing but the point I which is known as the instantaneous center. Now if we observe here is the arm of the flyball that is B to F. So we have to extend this BF on this DI. So I will extend this BF. So here is we will say point M. Now if we observe this diagram this is the extended length that is PF is getting ex extended up to I. Then Angle alpha is made by this arm PF with this vertical line. So this vertical line PD is parallel to this FM. So both are both these lines are parallel. This is the common line. So here also angle is equal to alpha. Then if we observe here is the angle beta. So this is the link FD. So this is the vertical line. This that is I will say P D is the vertical line. F M is also vertical line. That means these two lines are parallel and this F D link is common in between these two parallel lines. So this will angle this is the angle that is equal to beta. So if we observe this diagram, these are the opposite angles. So if we observe this is the N shape. So you can imagine here. This is the N shape and these two angles are opposite angles. So we can say that these two angles are same. Now we will calculate what is the minimum speed N1. Now if we read this question carefully, it is given that at the radii of rotation of 150 mm and 200 mm, the arc of the fly balls are parallel to the spindle axis. So spindle axis is in the vertical line and here this arm BF is also the vertical line when this radius of rotation is 150 mm and 200 mm. Now we are going to calculate what is the minimum speed N1. So at the minimum speed N1 this radius of rotation we have to choose the Number, small number that is in between this 150 and two, uh, 200 millimeter we have to choose R is equal to R1 that is the small number 150 millimeter for the minimum speed N1 now again we will take basic formula so what is the basic formula for the pro and governor so the centrifugal force Fc is equal to Fm by Bm tan of alpha in the bracket mg plus capital mg by 2 in the bracket 1 plus tan beta by tan alpha but we know that in this case tan alpha and tan beta that is both are equal so i will say that tan alpha is equal to tan of beta so this term will become 1 then again if we observe here this term tan alpha is there so what is the value of uh, tan of alpha so in this triangle b PFG tan of alpha that is opposite side FG divided by PG. So now I will put one by one values. So what is the centrifugal force? So centrifugal force is nothing but MR omega square. So instead of R we have to take here as a R1 and omega that is angular velocity. 
that is not directly given so we will take here 2 pi n by 60 so instead of n we have to take minimum speed n1 so i will put here value that is m r1 2 pi n1 by 60 bracket square which is equal to now what is the value of fm so this distance f to m if we observe this diagram this distance f to m is nothing but this distance g to d now in this question these two arms that is p f and f d are equal arms this angle alpha and angle beta both are equal so we can say that this point g is the center point so this g d which is equal to p g and which is equal to h1 so we can say that this f m is also equal to h1 so i will take here the value of h1 that is we have to take in meter so here for 260 millimeter i will choose 0 0.26 divided by b m so what is the value of b to m so for that uh, b f plus f m so what is the value of b f that is 80 millimeter so for this 80 millimeter we have to take here 0 0.0 0.08 meter plus fm that is 0 0.26 tan of alpha so tan of alpha if we observe that is r1 by h1 r1 by h1 now in the bracket so i will write here in the bracket mg so small m that is 10 into 9.81 plus capital m that is 100 into 9.81 divided by 2 in the bracket 1 plus tan beta by tan alpha is 1 so here is the this bracket is getting completed now again if we observe this this r1 r1 that is getting cancelled on both the side so again we will put here the value so i will simplify this so this m is nothing but 10 multiplied by 2 pi n1 bracket square that is 4 pi square n1 square by 60 square that is 3600 which is equal to so again i will simplify this term 0 0.26 divided by 0 0.34 uh, into 1 by h1 so h1 value is known that is 0 0.26 so again here this 0 0.26 and 0 0.26 is getting cancelled. Now in the bracket, so here 98.1 plus here 981 by 2 multiplied by 2. So in this question only one unknown term is there that is N1 and we will calculate this value. Value of N1 is equal to 170 RP. Now we will move for the calculation of maximum speed N2. So for the maximum speed N2 we have to take the radius of rotation of the fly ball that is also should be large number. So what is the large number in between 150 and 200? That is this we have to take for this 200 millimeter. So we have to take R is equal to R. So before that when we put here r is equal to r2 we have to calculate what is the value of h2 that is this is the vertical distance in between this point p and g so we will refer here the triangle p f g so this is a one side of the triangle so how to calculate this h2 that is square root of this p f square minus f g square so we can say that square root of 300 square minus Fg that is R2 is 200 minus 200 square which is equal to 224 millimeter. So this is the value of H2. Now we will move for the basic formula to calculate the speed. So what is the basic formula for this proil governor? So here is the centrifugal force Fc and for this centrifugal force which is equal to fm by bm tan of alpha in the bracket mg that is this is small m mg plus capital mg by 2 in the bracket 1 plus tan beta by tan alpha now if we observe here angle alpha and angle beta both are equal so we can say that tan alpha tan beta by tan alpha which is equal to 1 
Now we will put all the values. So what is the centrifugal force? That is equal to m r omega square. So instead of r, we will put here m r to omega square. And what is omega? That is 2 pi n by 60. So I will write here 2 pi n 2 by 60 bracket square. So instead of omega square, we have to put this term. So we will simplify this. So m r to 2 pi n 2 by 60 bracket square which is equal to. Now what is the distance f m and b m. Now f m distance. So this distance is equal to distance g d and here g is the center point. So why this g is the center point? Because these two arms that is p f and f d are of equal length and this angle alpha is equal to angle beta. That's why this point G is the center point for this distance P to D. So we can say that FM is equal to GD which is equal to PG. So what is this distance PG? That is 224 millimeter but in calculation we have to take value in meter that is 0 0.224 divided by BM. So what is the distance B to M? That is BF plus FM that is 0 0.08 plus 0 0.224 tan of alpha. So tan of alpha means what? This R2 by H2. Then in the bracket Mg. So M is 10 into 9.81 plus capital M that is 100 into 9.81 divided by 2 and in the bracket 1 plus 1. So because this tan beta by tan alpha is 1. Now if we observe this R2 R2 is getting cancelled. So again we will put all the values. So this m is equal to 10, here 4 pi square n2 square by 3600 which is equal to 0 0.224 divided by 0 0.304 1 by h2. So h2 is 0 0.224 in the bracket 98.1 plus 981 by 2 into 2. So if we solve this, here is only one unknown term that is n2 and n2 is 180 rpm. Now the question is that we have to find out what is the range of speed. So range of speed that is the difference in between maximum speed and minimum speed. So maximum speed is n2, minimum speed is n1. So range of speed that is equal to n2 minus n1 and which is equal to 10 rpm.